So I bought myself a fish tank, not just any fish tank. I bought myself a saltwater fish tank. I bought myself a 75 gallon, big ass, beautiful saltwater fish tank with living rocks, real sand, real shells. And I couldn't be more excited. Like I am like a five-year-old with this thing. When I first got it in the house and it was empty, I sat in front of it. Uh, then we put some, some rocks in there just for fun uh, while I was waiting for someone to come help me set it up. Cause I tried to set up the filter myself and it was too complicated. So I had someone come in and set it up for me. And then we filled it with water and, uh, and salt and everything. And I sat in front of it again and uh, uh, just, kind of did my work in front of the the fish tank. I turned on the lights. I did all the stuff. I put pictures of fish up on the uh, fish tank because uh, the saltwater tanks definitely need to be seasoned before you put a fish in it. But I got myself a fish tank uh, and I got myself like this big, beautiful, amazing fish tank uh, and it's filled with water. And today I went and got some uh, hermit crabs because we, you start, you know, you know, it's a whole cycle of, uh, you know, bacteria and algae blooms and all kinds of stuff to get your, your, your saltwater fish tank all set up. Uh, so I have my hermit crabs in there. I think I might've killed two. So I'm a little, if you, if I'm a little, if I sound a little down, it's because I think I killed two of my hermit crabs. Um, maybe, you know, they're just kind of hanging out on the bottom. So we'll see, we'll go back out and check them. But, uh, and then if I keep the hermit crabs alive, when I keep the hermit crabs alive, I get uh, clownfish next week. So I'm so excited. But here's what's really interesting about getting a fish tank. Uh, I don't know if I, I've talked about the fact that I had a koi pond. Uh, one of my dreams in life was to have a koi pond. I love the thought of a Japanese garden with koi. koi. And uh, when we moved into the townhouse uh, uh, eight, nine years ago, 10 years ago now, Jesus, um, it had a little pond in the back. So I bought these little two inch koi and some goldfish and uh, they thrived. Uh, not only did they thrive, uh, they grew and grew and grew and grew and grew to where they were at least 10 pounds each by the time we moved. I had to keep giving away koi because I kept uh, the, they just got too big for the pond. And when we moved, I had to give away my koi. So uh, the pond here at the house uh, in our new house is broken and it just seemed like too much, too much expense to fix and to keep up. And we got a new rescue dog and she's going to jump in the pond. So anyway, here's what it is about the fish tank. Uh, you know, we've been in COVID for, you know, a year now and, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to, you know, even, even with the best of circumstances with a job and health insurance and food and, and, you know, with life being good, it's still, you know, kind of, kind of tough to find the enjoyment, uh, in the, in the, uh, limited space. And one of the things I love more than anything in life is Hawaii. Uh, you know, everybody has a place on earth where they feel at home, where they feel that they belong. And the two places I've found that is in Colorado and in Hawaii. When I go to Hawaii and I've been there about a dozen times, I'm very fortunate. Uh, I cry when I leave something about the rocks, something about, uh, the vibe of Hawaii, not just the beauty, just, it, I just feel alive and at home in Hawaii. I feel like I could never leave Hawaii and be okay. Uh, and I love snorkeling and I love scuba diving and I love tropical fish and uh, tropical fish. Uh, you know, I had fish tanks as a kid, but you know, saltwater tanks were those things for other people, for smarter people, richer people. Uh, and um, so making the decision to finally get this tank and setting it up and, and just watching the joy that is coming up in my body. Now I'm not one for outside things, you know, looking for joy on the outside, buying new cars, although I've done that, <laughs> you know, but buying things on, you know, on the outside to make us happy. But when we know what inside really kind of makes our soul sing, uh, to deprive ourselves is what we do all, all the time. It's like, we don't put ourselves on the list. And for a long time, I never put myself on the list for something like this. Uh, and, uh, I missed my koi pond so badly. I love sitting. There's something about sitting with fish for me that is, is soul nurturing. And I could tell by sitting in my living room with an empty fish tank and meditating with an empty fish tank that I'm on the right track here. I remember way back when, uh, my ex-wife and I had this house and uh, she wanted to put a front porch on the house. The house was very plain in the front. She wanted to put a front porch on it. And I was like, why do you want to go all through all that expense? And we have to go to the town. We have to talk them into it. And what, what do we need? You know, like, let's just use that money for something else. She said, no, I want to enjoy a front porch. I'm like, all right, it's kind of silly, but all right, let's put a front porch on. So we did everything we needed to do. And she 
built this beautiful front porch on the front of the house. And we got two rocking chairs and put them on the front of the house. Uh, the, in fact, we had to have the rocking chairs that were at Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel uh, restaurant has these beautiful white rock, rocking chairs in front. So we had to buy those rocking chairs. Uh, and guess who spent all his time on the front porch, sitting, reading with my laptop, doing my work on the front porch because the front porch was such a lovely thing. She was right. We wanted to do something to enhance our lives now. Uh, and, uh, and I learned a lesson from that. When I talk to people uh, all the time, I ask them, you know, what do you love to do? And they're like, what does this have to do with success? What does this have to do with getting ahead and leadership and all the things that we're supposed to coach on? It has to do with well-being, has to do with living life. Uh, it has to do with finding what feeds your soul. See, if you're not feeding your soul on one end of the spectrum and you're just giving out to your career, to success, to your team, to your family, and you're just giving out, uh, there's no replenishment. And uh, all the amount, you know, even the, the rest, the naps, whatever, that doesn't do it. You know, some people it's artwork, some people it's music, some people it's sports or golf or tennis or hiking. You know, for me, it's saltwater, saltwater fish. I grew up on Long Island. I grew up around saltwater. Uh, and it's kind of weird not to live near a coast. Uh, so it's, you know, for me, that water element is nurturing to me. I go hiking all the time in the mountains. I love the mountains, but it doesn't feed me the same way that these saltwater fish feed me, that just these hermit crabs feed me. Uh, so what in your life, that's the question I have here, is what are you missing in your life that you know just feeds your soul. And it could be time with friends. Uh, one of my clients, you know, all through COVID, you know, he just, what fed his soul was being around friends. So they, they made a little pot of people so that he could just be, he's an extrovert, just to be around his people. You know, so what is it for you that nurtures you, that fills your soul so that you can give and give and give, but fill that cup so that you can give from the saucer? Uh, you know, for me, it's dogs, uh, it's hiking, and now it's saltwater fish. And I'd love for you to just take a pause for a minute as I marvel at my saltwater fish tank, which, by the way, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, you're going to see video and pictures of my, my journey with this fish tank. Uh, so that's what I'll leave with you today. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Find out what nurtures you, find out what fills you, and give it to yourself not because you're selfish. You will wind up giving more to everybody else as you're filled. And when they see the delight and, and the happiness, I mean, people are getting, getting off on me being so giddy like a five-year-old with a silly fish tank. Uh, you know, you're just much more pleasant to be around. I love you guys. Have a great rest of the day.